Okay, let's talk about note lengths, dynamics, and a couple things that go along with playing once you learn where all the notes are. And later you'll see in some of the demonstrations, some of the tracks that we're playing to, you'll see these techniques used. But when you play a note, you can either play it loud, soft, or medium, and there's many choices of, of what kind of dynamics you're going to be using throughout music. Also, the note length is very important. Is it going to be a long note, or is it just going to be short? And, and so we're calculating all these things at the same time when we're playing music and figuring out little rules. Most of the time when I'm playing in popular music and there's a singer there, when you get to the verse, it always comes down to dynamics, regardless of what's going on. The chorus is usually a lot stronger, but when you get to the verse, make sure you come back down and bring it down so people can hear what, what uh, the singer is saying. And the other thing is just make your choices based on what's going on around you. If you're, gonna, if you're playing a part, for instance, that goes... We've heard that kind of line. So sometimes I have to make the decision, is it going to be, is it going to be, same exact rhythm, but the length of the note is short, as opposed to long, that would sound like, it's going to make the song sound completely different, whether it's this, or this. And those are the kind of decisions that I'm making all the time. Every song I play, I'm trying to figure out, is this going to be a short note, long note? Is it going to be loud, soft, medium, piano, forte, mezzo forte? And, and that's what music's all about, listening and determining how, how we're going to approach it from the bottom end. So this is just, uh, again, talking about the note length, either long, short, or somewhere in between. You notice I'm hitting it just to deaden it on the right hand. So you see that's three different ways to play a very simple bass line. Mm -hmm.